Okay, welcome everyone. Um, it definitely looks like a week four crowd. Things are getting intense here at Sire, so I'm glad that all of you were able to join us tonight, and I know that there are a lot more people um, online. So I'd like to welcome everyone uh, tonight. My name is Christy Ballier. I am the co-coordinator of Graduate Thesis this past year uh, with John Cooper. And we were delighted and fortunate to work with such a great group of students. And so today, I welcome all of you for SciArc Channel's showing of Expanding the Archive, a film that is highlighting, recognizing, celebrating, and archiving the work that all of you did. These films are important because they serve to mark a moment of celebration for work and discussions and topics that have already been um, looked into, but they are also important as archives through the history of the school, where new students can look to them and understand what conversations have come before me, what projects are out there that I can begin to have a conversation with. So these films are very important as they celebrate all of you, the 80 plus students that graduated as part of the graduate thesis class this year, but it's also for all of the students that are yet to come into thesis. So I'd like to um, conclude just by recognizing that I think graduate thesis here at SciArc is one of the events that touches almost every aspect of this school, the students, the faculty, the administration, the staff, and it takes all of those hands in order to bring a graduate thesis to a place where every student can present their work and have a discussion with a large group of people. And this film, I think, hopefully, will summarize and celebrate all of that. So please join me in watching this film, and we will um, be, I, I welcome you to join us afterwards out in the picnic area outside where we will have a small celebration. Thank you. How do we communicate with models, with drawings, with images, with animations, and how do we compile all of those things into a compelling narrative that we can share with many types of audiences? And having this last year and a half sort of in the conversation of what is the thesis, why is it important, and what does it mean to develop it in the context of today, I think have been at the forefront of most students' minds. And it has been really exciting as a coordinator to kind of work with all of them and see how they navigate this new territory. If you were to read all of the thesis statements written by the students, I think you'd hear a kind of cacophony. There are so many different kinds of voices, different languages, different theoretical persuasions, different cultural alignments, different politics. I think that cacophony defines style. I think it's what makes it planetary and cosmopolitan. I think of this as a collective conversation that's mutating all the time. Some of the voices are familiar, but a lot of it sounds like it's coming from a future that hasn't quite arrived yet. It feels like these projects are exploring in advance architectural futures that are on the verge of arriving. A thesis is something that can move on, can have new life, and it's an incomplete process. We don't even know the question yet, and as we discover it, we discover the question. Thesis is a seed of an idea. Where did I find my beginning, no? And I think that it's right there. And you definitely have a seed. The next thing to do is to do mining. I think all architects should be miners. My thesis title is Surface Level, the Municipal Services Building of Philadelphia. It looks at a critical analysis of municipal surfaces and their level, fill, and occupation. The project proposes a delimination of the plinth as an object into surfaces, more specifically plates that work between monument and infrastructure to reseed the plinth not as a final work but as a material site that instructs levels and repositions. The name of my thesis is called Clone Symphony, which is a music 
So there are three movements exist in this symphony. The first is climbing, the second is floating, the third is diving. The key concept of my thesis is how to use the original conditions of Clone World City in Hong Kong and transform it to the new species and new structures. My thesis is titled Stage Magic. It is a performance of both the ending result and the process of making the front stage and the backstage into a synthetic sensory experience. The importance of a thesis in my mind really harkens back to the idea that we are trained to not only make wonderful designs, but also be critical of the way we design projects for the environment. Students often think of it as purely a creative act, and I think thesis offers an opportunity to think about how those wonderful design moves are contextualized within the broader discipline. The title is Other Walls and then VIF, which means verify in field. The thesis looks at William Pereira's Los Angeles Times Executive Building that was built in 1973 as kind of the example to take on um, a more contemporary adaptive reuse project. My thesis title is called The Great Escape. The idea is mainly from taking use of the representation of the architecture to create visually and also spatially methods to help people escape from a very highly dense populated urban area. My name is Burak Çelik. My thesis is titled Superpositioning. It looks at superpositioning through the interplay between digital and analog, between cyberspace and real space, between augmented and virtual reality to uncover the latent structures within current post-digital aesthetics. Graduate thesis this year has been an exhilarating time that has required students to reconsider, invent, develop ways to broadcast and communicate their ideas about architecture. I enjoyed how agile the reviews are. We are responding to the work. There is quite a wide range. It has been nice to see the students twice to identify areas of interest, a very particular range of approaches at SciArc. Envirovore, an eco-social research center and artist residency in the Isle of Skye, Scotland. And Envirovore uh, critically provokes the idea that architecture is inert and transforms matter into living architecture that becomes an integral part of its environment. The thesis, Co-Presence of Differences, is a reconception of ecology. It builds an understanding through intimate entanglement of elements, systems and processes that architecture is already a part of nature. Hi, my name is Nick Dockner and my thesis is titled Do Enter, a remediation project of toxic lands in the Grand Canyon. Essentially, I was looking at the form of a mound across many cultures and many times and asking if it was still a relevant architectural form in, in 2021. The site I was looking at was in the Grand Canyon, an old uranium mine, and I was asking if the cleanup process and the making habitable might result in a new form of mound. My thesis topic is on softness. It's an emotive quality that describes the material. I have made a one-by-one -one steel wall detail model by casting domestic material with construction material. All the hybrid of softness and hardness is plasticity, which means the soft in my thesis. Examine the role of architecture in the future spaces of performances, shows, and exhibitions. The project used fashion as a vehicle to present a new typology of space bent on evolving the experience of performance and made a production where fashion is exhibited. In a way, the environment and the garment they have to work together. For the MARC, I think that thesis is and should remain more exploratory or open terrain. I've seen the best of thesis when students come with a, a question that is left unanswered in the beginning. And through design iterations and provocative questions, it grows and emerges into something that's powerful. Station of Relief, designing public space for police. 
My thesis is working on police stations as a building typology, looking at them and how they've been characterized as military bunkers. I'm looking specifically at architectural models of relief, dealing with the physical and the digital overlaps between image, model, and drawing to reconstruct the project as a more democratic and open space. It might be also just because I'm looking at the first physical model of a student since 18 months, but I think <laughs> I, I, I'm just fascinated by the quality of craftsmanship. Your drawings of the convention center are better than the convention center and better, I'm sure, than the Paycock free drawings for it. And I just want you to own that. My name is Julia McConnell and my thesis is titled Pledge of Allegiance. The project starts by engaging with political backdrops of increasingly balkanized states like in the United States of America and further identifying unhelpful singularities noticed in rooms like the Oval Office, which are then architecturalized to convey the kind of diversity, multiplicity, and complexity of any one given situation. The corporeal exchange. My thesis exists in this realm that is between the human body and architecture. It relates these sensualities that the body expresses and takes that into the architectural realm with environments, with atmosphere, lighting, materials, and celebrating the idea of the human body. That's a wrap. My thesis is comprised of kind of two tracks. On one hand is sampling, and on the other hand is wrapping. They're neither parallel, but they're kind of intertwined. The overall design seeks to maximize the expressive potential of various architectural configurations by condensing their figurative illusions into one eloquent wrapped gesture. And that's a wrap. The title of my thesis is Atypical, the project that aims to disrupt the architectural performance of fitting in, more specifically with the Californian post-war single-family home, in an attempt to subvert the elements to kind of create a type that supports nuance and difference. I think collectively there's a massive commitment to kind of urgency about the kinds of questions and involvements that architecture and design seek out. There's a kind of transspeciation of architecture, pushing it to its edges. And in the thesis statements, you see students working that out in a really detailed way. That's really, to me, about the question of who is involved in architecture, who is involved in architecture, who is connected through architecture, and what project does architecture see for itself in the better world of the future. I really enjoyed seeing all the conversations that were taking place within the thesis. It was really heartening to see so many students engaging with big questions like how technology is changing architecture, how technology is changing our whole lives. I saw quite a broad range of conversations as well, which I think is also something that's really great to see because it's a sign of a school and a student cohort that has a real energy and maturity where different ideas can play off against one another and, and produce really interesting conversations. Machine Heritage is a thesis looking into the regeneration of existing undervalued urban buildings with the development of new value and hybrids within. This thesis is also an exploration of architecture's role in urban memory. My project is Orogenesis. What I was interested in was the way that we distinguish natural from man-made to try to break down those barriers a little bit because all natural environments are actually a product of human intervention, starting from a point of landscape art, which is a medium that really perpetuates that, and then starting to try and apply that to generating architectural objects that have the forms of landscape objects. Wei Jiu Lu, experience, experiment, expectation. My thesis aims to create an Asian futurism to merge the tradition and mystique of the Miao people with technology, based on the parafiction concept that metals have biological qualities. My thesis is titled Woodwork, a new architectural interface. It's trying to help architects visualize all the things that are not seen, the externalities of architecture that are usually hidden. Things like the extraction, manufacturing, transportation interface helps architects visualize these environmental consequences so they can make more conscious decisions. The technology always has been the main reason of architecture changes over time. 
technology is moving so quickly that it's so important to present these conditions of possibility to try and understand what if this happens and how is it going to play out. There is a way to start to say, look, this could be interesting. You're going to find things that are completely new. The project in itself articulates possibility. Every crisis can be also seen as an opportunity, as an opportunity to resist the desire to go back to business as usual and to build instead a more equal society. This summer has been permeated by a sense of solidarity in support of a more inclusive architecture. Our SAC students have gifted us with their inventions to visualize the change we all want to see because the desire for change is the ultimate seed for that change to happen.